Sunday. Struggle icon John Beaver, known as JB Marks. His mortal remains are to be reburied at the special official funeral at Fentersdorp in the northwest province. JB Marks' remains, together with that of Moses Katani, were repatriated from Moscow in Russia at the beginning of this month. Both anti apartheid veterans' remains were exhumed in Russia, where they were buried in exile in the 1970s. Kotane's remains were buried last Saturday at his home village of Pella, near Rustenburg. The remains of SACP and ANC stalwart J.B. Marx arrived at his family home in Eldorado Park, south of Johannesburg yesterday. Marx's remains will be reburied on Sunday in Fentersdorp, the northwest town where he was born. The family say they are disappointed that he will not be reburied next to his wife, who was laid to rest in Johannesburg in the year 2000. Now, the Minister of Arts and Culture, Nati M. Tetra, joins us in studio today. Minister Nyambose Kunjani. Thank you. Thank you. It's going to be a very busy weekend. Uh, how, do we, how do we manage all the, all the official uh, uh, the official protocols across the country that has to be observed this weekend uh, without diminishing any of them? Well, we've got to <coughs> uh, do our best uh, to ensure that uh, all of them are, are accorded uh, their status because they are, they are all important, uh, including the third one, which is the Human Rights uh, Day and activities in, in Utenek, uh, uh, Eastern Cape. So <coughs> I think uh, it, it is going to be a busy week and, and referring to uh, our, our stalwart, uh, uh, Uncle JB, he, he really would be reinterred, as we said, uh, back to his uh, village town. And it has been a, a, a long way, a long way for him uh, uh, in his involvement in the struggle spanning uh, from the 20s, the 1920s, up until his death in 1972. J.B. Marx, it's almost ironic, this town that it comes from. It's known in South Africa as a very con conservative town. Can you tell us about the arrangements for this weekend in this town and, and also talk a little bit about the life of J.B. Marx and, and what he meant to other struggle, struggle icons like Nelson Mandela, like Walter Sisulu? Well, uh, he, he meant a lot, uh, uh, J.B. Marx, like Moses Kotane. In fact, uh, it's, it's very difficult to talk about one and non, not mention the other. If you look at the road uh, they've uh, uh, traversed in the, in the struggle uh, for liberation, They've always been uh, working together. Uh, mainly, we can attribute to them uh, the alliance, as people know it today, of the ANC, SACP, and COSATU, that in all these formations, they were key at their formative stages. Um, and, and, and they ensured that that tradition continues. Yeah. Uh, with J.B. Marx coming as he was uh, from a very... Uh, you know, challenged sector for our society, which is the mining sector, and, 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 and rising to be the first president of, of the union there and in the Communist Party and the African National Congress. So they, they contributed in shaping and, and molding the younger youth leaders at mm. the time, the likes of, 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 of Madiba, uh, who had uh, their views about the Communist Party. But later on, with persuasion from these two leaders, they, you know, embraced uh, the alliance itself. And uh, as you would know, that uh, you wouldn't have said anything against the Communist Party to Madiba, the one we, we knew. Uh, yeah. But the earlier one was very much uh, opposed to the SACP, the uh, uh, Communist Party of South Africa at the time. It, would be, it wouldn't be right for me not to ask you about... The, the other official funeral that's taking place in Chikundu village uh, tomorrow. Uh, it's been a real big setback. I don't think people realize what, how big this setback is for the ANC and for South Africa, and especially for the province of Limpopo, the, the untimely death of Colin Shabani. Well, yes, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's really a blow uh, for, for the entire uh, of our nation. Um, this 
province had, uh, you know, witnessed two stalwarts of the struggle, if I may put it that way, earlier on in the year. And now we have uh, Minister Chabane. Comrade Collins um, epitomized what the movement is and what it should be. Uh, those very values of our movement, uh, of selflessness, of humility, uh, of, of, of being principled uh, and, and, and firm on that, but also, uh, you know, uh, flexible on, 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 on tactic. But he, he has a person, was this unassuming but towering giant uh, whose presence you'll feel even when he's not saying anything. Mr. Minister, I understand you have a full program today, but before you go, I want to ask you about Human Rights Day. Here in South Africa today, one gets a sense that amongst the youth, we, we are frivolous about the freedoms that we enjoy, uh, the price that we paid at places like Sharpville, where 69 people were killed in 1960. It would be 55 years uh, ago tomorrow. Tell us about this hard-fought freedom and, and, and what, what our purpose and what we should do and how we should respect these freedoms on days like Human Rights Day? Well, uh, we, we, we've got to uh, always recognize the injustices of the past, as the Constitution would say, and, and honor those who, fo who fought for freedom uh, and justice in our land. Uh, with the benefit of hindsight, I think that part of the reason why people would take for granted whatever we have is that uh, <clears throat> perhaps we, we, we have not emphasized more on the horrors of, 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 of colonialism and apartheid. Mm. Um, and, and, and that has created a particular picture because we, we've got to say that as we move forward in reconstructing uh, our country, we should always not forget where we come from. Um, forgive, yes, but not forget, because if we forget, we may find ourselves uh, going back unwittingly or wittingly. Right now, we have challenges of racism, of Afrophobia amongst Africans, uh, of sexism and so on and so forth, homophobia mm. and all those things. And these are the challenges we are faced with today, which will continue to be applied in our journey uh, to a just and, 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 and human rights for all society. But I think that uh, we, we have it uh, within ourselves to interact more with the public. We have what we call uh, community conversations yeah. where we discuss about these things. And we, 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 we are calling on all other sectors of society, private sector, the media and everybody, to, to talk about this, people must know what happened in Sharvid yeah. so that it doesn't repeat. Mr. Minister, future. thank you for joining us, for coming in today and, and, and giving us such a sober view of where we are as a nation. It's important, the Minister says, forgive, but let's never, ever forget. Tomorrow is Human Rights Day. We will be laying to rest one of our great leaders, a young man at 54 in his home village of Chikunda, we can never forget the contribution, uh, the contributions that they've made, the contribution that J.B. Marx and Moses Kotane has made to the liberation struggle in our country, to the freedoms that you and myself enjoy in this country today. We've paid a heavy, heavy price. Let's take a look at some of your views uh, on our Twitter feed at SABC Newsroom. Msa says, as the remains of J.B. Marx arrive home to be buried we indeed ambivalent. Welcome home, Chief. Welcome to a free South Africa. Yes, that is the truth. Welcome home to a free South Africa. Hanyani Makumbani says, after spending time in Chikundu yesterday with the SABC team, I can attest comrades Colin Ch Collins Chabane was a man of dignity and a humble giant. And that is how we will remember uh, the contribution that Collins Chabane has made. Babam Tetwa, that is our, uh, well, used to be our commentator no more but well a heavy weekend awaits us but life goes on rest in peace jb marx collins Chabani, all heroes and heroines who fell on the 21st of march amandla aluta 
I agree with you, Baba, on Twitter. 21 March 1960, we will never forget Sharpville Police Station. 69 people, unarmed people, were shot on that day.